You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Let me flip my do-rag up for a second. Shout out to Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying, and everything he's got going on. He gave me the You Gonna Get This Work, the Deluxe Package. It's a bunch of shirts, you know what I'm saying, the QR code. I will, I'll probably put the QR code up on the screen or something like that. I am LoadedLux.com, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dope shit in here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, 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 yo, it's, it, it's a lot of shit in there. Make sure y'all check him out. Website is dope, you know, I got one on, you know what I'm saying, today. I, I threw on the, you gonna get this work joint, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check that out. Oh, we got the little, the little stripes on the side and all of that. He gonna get this work! He gonna get this work. Get this work, you hear me? Shout out to beloved Loaded Lux. It was good to see him have a conversation, chop it up with him, talk about battle rap, you know what I'm saying, as he gets himself ready for some of the battles that he has going on, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the gym. This is a lodge, you know what I'm saying? So make sure, you know, when you copy your size, you copy accordingly, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a large. I could have been an extra, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a medium. so let's get to it. Hold on, Dearly Departed, before we get started, man. Shout out to OSBL versus Gates of the Garden going down live from Martinis, May 18th, 2 to 8 p.m. They're going to have a pay-per-view, you know what I'm saying? Dre Dennis versus Kells, you know what I'm saying? They got League versus League. Two more battles off the card. Bill Collector versus Woosa. Bill Collector's been on fire. Woosa's off URL, newer rookie cat, you know what I'm saying? Getting a shot against Bill Collector. And then you have Eunice versus... Holmesy the guy, Holmesy the guy, you know what I'm saying? He he I ain't seen him in a little minute. Eunice been on a run doing his thing. So those both should be pretty good battles along with Kid Slade versus Ace I mean. Dope little card they putting together, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see where that smoke leads to, but it is what it is. Um all right, so check it out. It's a couple subjects I wanna break down as I break down every round that I've sketched about. It's a couple events I'm gonna talk about. Uh, it's a couple of happenings in battle rap I'm gonna talk about. It's a couple of diss tracks I'm gonna talk about. Uh, it's a couple of a lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? There's uh, Charlie Clips had a battle with Fonz on Saturday, Cabin Fever. Uh, <laughs> Fact. Because if you ask me, I say, y'all lit. Donovan Mitchell balling out of his mind. Y'all niggas made the playoff since. So out of love for Cleveland, not one time tonight if I'm gonna mention how my A y'all lit. Oh, and you niggas think I ain't gonna shoot shit in Cleveland? Y'all dumber than Jr. So I'm about to wild on. Fonz. I'm about to wild on Fonz. Facts. Pay attention, little nigga, cause you know what this can do. Know how I switch to the left and spur the low. Your man knew. Spur of the moment, your man knew. You ain't understand what they can do. Like I told y'all, I'm about to watch on Fonz, and your host gonna get his hand wrapped in his hand too, and the can blew. Pay attention, little nigga, when his hand cock, the band rock, hand shot him, nigga, welcome to jam rock, and it can't stop, I lift up with the bullet, nigga, I make the hand pop, and I'm still promoting being Rilla, because when I said it, you made the can stop. Did you peep the bars, little nigga, CFG? Promotion, send it to my cash app. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's stupid. <laughs> you talking about like, fight with you, you going fight with a day, yeah. nigga. You got what you going fight. <laughs> you going fight with a day, nigga. I'ma talk about that too. Uh, there's just a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? But uh I wanna break it all down and get things done the right way, you know what I'm saying? We can make this like a little early. What's happening in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Um so we'll start with the diss tracks. Easy and uh, Hitman Hollow was going back and forth this last weekend. Uh, Easy released, Hitman released his diss track, Easy released his diss track. I thought both was straight, you know what I'm saying? I seen a lot of people like this person won, that person won. I thought both was cool, um, you know what I'm saying? And when I listened to both tracks, I kind of knew some of the, most of the subject matter that they was going to talk about, so you know what I'm saying? I felt cool with it. Won, won, both got their shit off. I seen Easy talking about Hitman bought views. The nerve of you. <laughs> You know, that's like disrespect. That's, that's kind of where I was like, I'm out of here because Hitman Holla is Hitman Holla. What does Hitman Holla need to buy? <laughs> He's the most viewed nigga ever. Like, 
he was getting views before any of damn near any of us was getting views. So I really can't subscribe to that notion, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, easy to block captain, has the trenches, he has the unforgivable car coming up. He does have a battle on that car with Charlie Clips. If you don't know, Charlie Clips has had a systemic string of shitty performances that he is now attributing to be all some part of some grand scheme. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that he purpose. <laughs> Just die. You can't wake up by the casket and say psych out loud. <laughs> he's psych out niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like he's saying that his recent string of shitty performances is part of a grand scheme. I got easy 3 0. Let's let's whatever. I got easy 3 I'm gonna start there, but we'll read we'll read what Charlie Clips said. Cause I don't I don't hate Charlie Clips. I actually, you know what I'm saying, I rock with Charlie Clips. Good dude. That's why he gets booked all the time. He's a good dude, he has good character, he's a good person. But he's just lazy as fuck, and he hasn't performed at a high level in a long time. And I, I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. I will still see him say, what up, have a shot, chill. That's my boy. No beef. I love Charlie Clips. But is he lazy as a motherfucker? Absolutely. So let's get to it. Charlie Clips says, man, I love this dude right here. Pause if need be. The most viewed battle rapper of all time. And right now, I have the battle word thinking it's over for me, and I love it. My plan worked perfectly. I'm a super underdog in my May Battle 4 vs. Easy to Block Captain. Uh, once every two years, I get to show the world who I am, what I really do. My back is finally against the wall, and that's exactly what I wanted, slash needed, slash get the fuck out of here. Listen, Clips, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I rock with you, but like I kind of got off of the whole Clips train when I went to L.A. to see a battle with you and Jag, and that battle didn't happen. Now, I get it. You know, you, things happen, woo de woo de woo but then you had that situation, you had a battle that was supposed to happen with fucking Nitty Part 2 that didn't happen, you were supposed to battle Chef Trez, that didn't happen. I'm like, oh. Got rescheduled, put on your, niggas just not running all around the world just to hope you have a good performance every couple of fucking years. That's what we ain't doing, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got off of it. I got off the Clips train. I'm like, yo, if he does it, great deal. So I watched your battle, right? You versus Fonz. I didn't cop it because why the fuck am I spending money on you? I watched it, right? However, I watched it. I watched it, right? And man, listen here. Dog, <laughs> you still freestyling the whole battle. And see, see, the thing is, I will say about your battle with Fonz is that I blame them just as much as I blame you because number one, it wasn't even promoted as a one round battle. You know what I'm saying? I hate these one round battles that are not promoted the way they're supposed to be. They, they hide them as three, and then it comes out, it happens to be one round. I could look at Fawn's face in the interview after the battle and tell that he wasn't happy with the product that he got. They can tell you anything. People can say whatever they want. But I know for a fact he wasn't happy with the product that he got. It was a cool battle, yada, yada, yada. Niggas don't wait years and years to battle somebody. And that's what that's the performance that they get. But you've been doing this for a while, so I don't even get mad anymore. Because like I say, you worth whatever somebody's willing to pay you. If I want to sell you this bottle of water right here, which I paid about $2, you know what I'm saying, $3 at the store, you know what I'm saying, a bottle of alkaline water, it's called 10 Mountain Spring Water. If I tell you this bottle of water is worth $50,000 and you give me $50,000, that's how much the bottle of water is. It's not a big, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips is a 50,000 bottle, bo bottle of water, but it's really worth $2. So check this out, let's go even further. When I was in the Air Force, they had this term, and I'm sure that other branches of the military and shit like that had terms like this. It was called ROAD, R-O-A-D. Retired on active duty, right? And what that means, shout out to all the military members out there, that means somebody who gets to a point in their career where they're retirement eligible, but they don't retire. They have this in the civilian world too, where niggas will be at your job, they be mad old, and they just in a position that they there, but they reaping the benefits and living off their name, but they not putting in the work you gonna get this work they're not putting in the work they're not putting in any of the shit that other people are doing so you looking at them like why the fuck are they here this is exactly what clips did clips retired already he retired but he just retired on active duty which means he's still getting paid for the shit that he does like we go i go all the way to la to see this nigga you think i would have flew to la to see this nigga I, you think i would have flew to la to see a jag battle if i knew this nigga wasn't gonna be on the card absolutely not so that's why i say we're gonna call it like we call it so we can't spoil it I hear what you're saying with this whole, oh, this is the grand scheme. Bro, how is it a grand scheme when niggas are spending money? People are investing in you. They're spending their hard-earned money. Not for you to just go throw, lose a bunch of battles, and then just show up every two years. Even if you do show up and have a fucking great performance versus easy to block captain, the first thing niggas is going to think in the back of their mind is, no, no, no. Yeah.
Look at the last two years, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can read the comments when niggas talk about you, bro. They put they put clips. There should be no reason. I'll run it right here where you can see the fucking comments and shit. Where you should, people should post a clip of your battle and there's not a single positive comment. Every single person is like, nah, nah, no, this ain't it, this ain't it, this ain't it, this ain't it. So, you know, and you take down the property value. I don't care what nobody says. If I see a card or I see somebody who I know ain't gonna bring it or be bullshitting in their battles, why am I investing in that when most of us got kids? Why do niggas wanna see you? Ask yourself that, you know? We not even asking for no crazy shit. Fine said the same thing. We not even asking you for the world. We asking you to do your job. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that wish they could. I wish leagues would just fly me everywhere to not do my job. What? If I showed up to one pay-per-view that somebody paid me to be at didn't do my job, I would never get another call. And I'm just comparing myself. They would never call us again. And I understand he's a legend, and I understand he's done some legendary shit, but there's a lot of people who ain't moving like that. Hitman Hollow's on Wild and Out, he's not moving like that. Conceited is on there, Sharon, all the people that battle that be on Wild and Out do not be out here moving like fucking, like fucking, got a battle every week. Damn, my nigga, <laughs> I fuck with clips, but dog, you had your first kid. Nigga, we got two, three, four of them motherfuckers that ain't out here moving like no fiend. My nigga out here moving like a fiend. Every week, different car, different place, different state, just rapping freestyle. I'm sorry. <laughs> What are you gonna tell? What are you gonna tell Easy? See, I was gonna write for Easy this morning, but I came up with a smarter way. Since we in Miami, I let it bam, then kill him the harder way. Oh, he wanted to be a hero. Get washed. They did him just like that. You hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hear it. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. My nigga, we don't fucking want to hear that shit. And if nobody else ain't going to say it, I will. We don't want to hear no fucking Miami drawn out bullshit schemes and freestyle. I'm sorry. That ain't what we're here for. So I get your post and shit like that and every two years. But nigga, we not buying that shit. We ain't buying no real estate. Psych, I lied. He tried to psych, I lied the last two bad years. <laughs> My nigga Clips tried to pull a psych, <laughs> You gotta stop that shit. And I fuck with you too at the end of the day. Even after this speech right here, I still fuck with you. But we not gonna act like you've been any good. And I, you can't just say you. this is part of some master plan, some grand scheme. Let me be as shitty as I can just to show niggas I could do it. We would prefer you smoke everything on your way here. Because <laughs> them niggas don't get no refunds. Them fans on. You get a first impression to make a first impression. I'm gonna leave it there. And we can move on, man. But uh, yeah, Clips, I see what you're saying, but come on, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. John John has a car coming up, politics as usual. Shout out to Bullpen and everything that they got going on. Um, he got, what he got on here? He got uh, himself versus uh, Calico, Arsenal versus Bad News, Tay Rock versus Loso, T Top versus Chef Trez, New Jersey Twerk versus Clone, and Gwitty versus Super Black. Uh, rapgrid.com slash politics. That's going down on the 26th in Atlanta and it's hosted by Hitman Hollow. Normally, this would be a big card. Like, this would be a pretty big card. This would be a lot of buzz around it. But we're in a microwave era now where there's a card every fucking week. So a lot of these cards don't get the chance to breathe because it's another card that's coming up and literally a card a day or so later, which is uh, the Monopoly card. The cards literally run like right on top of each other. So it's kind of hard for the art. That's why. A lot of times people be wondering why the battlers don't promote and all this other shit. Why are the niggas going to promote if they on a car next week and the week after and the week after and the week after, bro? They battle every fucking week. So, and that's a little with a lot of these cards. So, Calico battles John John. Calico just battled a week or so ago versus Reed. I had Reed winning. I'm not doing this whole win. Pulling their phones out and all in there. I lost. Other person win. That's just me. Y'all call it how y'all call it, but I call it how I do. So, shout out to John John. He flying, uh, he volunteered to fly a bunch of media and everything down there. And shout out to that. Flying media down, getting hotels and, you know, making people be, you know, got shit going on. But my question is this. They need to be the ones that's helping push this and promote this and talk about this shit to leave. John, John, don't be flying no bunch of niggas down there who's not doing recaps, not promoting this shit, not posting it, and not keeping your event going. That shit crazy. That shit sound crazy right there. Now, I'm not part of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, SP got things going on. I got kids. I don't really have time to do it because he he hollered at me and I would have but I got a lot of shit going on. We was just on TVS that got a lot of shit going. So for me, I can't do it. 
But for the people who are actually a part of it, if you're a media member and he's flying you down there, y'all should be trying to help. Just saying. I, maybe it's me. I'm talking about the event and I ain't gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to him and shout out to the event. I will, I'll see the pay-per-view though. I'll make sure I see that though, you know what I'm saying? Because I like what's going on here. So John John versus Calico. I got John John winning. I'm be honest with you. I feel like John John on bullpen wants to beat Cal. It's not gonna bullshit. Ain't gonna be freestyling. Ain't gonna be looking at his phone and all that other shit. Like, I just seen this shit a week ago. I can't not I can't unsee it, though. I just saw the shit. So I got John John winning against Cal 2-1. Arsenal versus bad news. Uh I saw Arsenal versus Coffee. He was all right. I got bad news 2-1. Uh, Tay Rock versus Loso. Rock battles every day, every week. <laughs> every day, every week. And uh, he was, his last time on bullpen, he was very good. He battled, I think it was, when he battled uh, the, the fucking bad news battle. That when, when, when bad news, the rock splash over the wave, hit the titles and shit. Who betting against Rock this year? I don't know. I got, I got Rock 2-1 versus Loso. T-Top versus Chef Trez. This is a battle I felt like shit happened already. I definitely feel like T-Top versus Chef Trez should have happened already. Chef Trez has been on a crazy run. Uh, T-Top is good too. 2-1 uh, either way. Twerk versus Clone. Uh, I seen Clone's last battle. I seen his battle when he was versus uh, Bad News up in the um, bullpen joint. I mean, um, Trenches, I seen that. Um, no, Ness, Ness, Trenches. Yeah, my bad. Trenches. I seen his jump versus Trenches. E Ness. I saw that, uh, and I saw Twerk's last battle. That he just just, just had battle a nigga in Houston and shit. All the, all them niggas in Houston. They was gassing the shit. Yeah, I seen that jump. Um, if Twerk cares, well, if, if, if Twerk cares versus Clone, it could be a very interesting battle. Two one Twerk. If Twerk plays any games. Or is anything other than elite versus somebody like Clone? I got Clone 2-1. It's, it's one of them ifs. Sorry, it's an if. It is an if. What you want me to do? Um, Gwitty versus Super Black. Uh, pretty dope battle. Uh, I've seen both. I seen Gwitty versus Caution not too long ago. Uh, Gwitty never. Gwitty's never lost a battle. He don't feel like he loses battles. I don't feel like he loses battles. Gwitty's the greatest battle. Great. Gwitty's name should actually be on the top. Is it? Where's he at on this slide? His name should actually be on the top because Gwitty is the best battle rapper to ever survive and ever be around. So in this battle, uh, lyrically, super black, but Gwitty's gonna win because Gwitty don't lose no battles, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's just how that's gonna go. It's just Gwitty, man, I'm sorry. It's the Gwitty effect, my nigga. What you want me to do, bro? Gwitty, Gwitty's paper, it's nasty. What you want me to do? Um, overall, this card is pretty dope, though, man. If, if our, all the battles gotta happen, uh, it is what it is. You know how shit goes nowadays. Niggas, don't tell me the day of that this person can't make it or this nigga got hit by a park car and nobody won't hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. So, let's not do that. Um, but shout out to everybody out there. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I like that joint too. Let me see if there's anything else we got going on. Uh, oh, yeah, the Monopoly joint. You know what I'm saying? There's a Monopoly car going down. And this car you can actually bet on. You know what I'm saying? They got bets where you can actually bet. Go on the battle, Bet Life Sports. If you got Twitter, go to at Bet Life Sports and then you can like look into how you can tweet, how you can bet. You know what I'm saying? They got niggas with percentages and everything. You can build a parlay. If niggas is just battling, you choke and ruin a nigga parlay, it's gonna be smoke for you. I haven't got one yet. I ain't got that far into it. But I, I have seen and heard about it. That card has Tay Rock versus A Ward, Geechee versus Loso. Wait a second. So Loso. <laughs> Loso got a battle. Tay Rock, then two days later battle Geechee. Which one of these is you getting bodied in? <laughs> or is it both? Which one are you getting bodied in? Or is it gonna be both? Y'all niggas is battling two. I promise you this. Out of these niggas who's battling two days and two days, Rock and Rock is battling Loso, then Rock is battling A Ward. Loso's battling Rock, then Loso's battling Geechee. Somebody gonna fuck around and get bodied in one of them battles. These niggas got two main events in two days. All they do is swap. This shit is crazy. That's what I was telling you niggas in the beginning, right? So Rock versus A Ward. Uh, you know, A Ward is on the war path. He wants to show off and do what he's been doing. He's been nice for a minute. Rock has been crazy. He's been winning all of these battles back to back to back to back or having phenomenal performances. This is probably a battle where it would look kind of crazy if A Ward lost to a, somebody who battled Loso. 
48 hours prior, if not that. But when I spoke to Rock, he told me he was ready for both of y'all. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And we still got, we got, he just battled Bill Collector a week or so ago. And when that battle drops, we're gonna do the bar for bar breakdown, but he was wilding in that joint too. Man, Rock might go to it, bro. Rock, Rock going to it against these is, yo, one of y'all gotta get him. Somebody has to, to end this. A Ward, I'm gonna leave it there to make it fair. Rock 2-1, go beat him. If you're gonna do it, go do it. If he fucking beats y'all 4-2, <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. Geechee versus Loso, bro. Ge oh, man. Loso about to battle. Why you couldn't battle these niggas a month apart or something? Why you got to battle him with them Geechee too? Man? I'm sorry, I fuck with Loso, but come on, son. You about to battle Rock and two days later you gonna battle him too? Nah, come on, son. You fuck. Uh, Shug versus Capo. Uh, Capo is pretty dope. Suge is Shug. I don't know what Suge we getting. Uh, I'm gonna go 2-1 either way on that one. It is what it is. Uh, Riggs versus Snake Eyes. I know y'all all feel like I don't like Snake Eyes, whatever the case may be. I really don't have an issue with it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. You know what I'm saying? But he was siding with niggas who was talking crazy about me. So, you know, when you with it, you get it. I don't have an issue with him. Do I feel like he wins a lot of battles? No, I don't. Do I feel like he promotes well? Yeah, he promotes well. He's gonna, you know, rile up, talk his shit, do whatever he does. He got he earned the battle versus Riggs. Him and Riggs was on live. He pulled the blick out of the shit. He was going wild. You know what I'm saying? So he deserves the battle. The Brooklyn Brawl is always gonna have a place in WWF. There. He will always have a place. We need niggas like that. Come on, son. As soon as somebody gets their shit going, they throw them in front of you, you beat them up, you throw them around, and you move on to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So we need people like this. Stow. I have no issue with him. I don't at all. With that being said, I got Riggs 3 0. It is what it is. That's just how I feel. Y'all can feel how you want. It may be 2 1 Riggs, but I, I got Riggs win. Let's just do it like that. If I put anything on my parlay, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. Oh, it's going to be that. <laughs> Shout out to both parties. I really don't care. Av versus Don Marino. Uh, Don Marino just battled Rosenberg Raw last weekend. I haven't seen it. I seen Don Marino talking about he's out celebrating his win. And I think I seen a tweet from Rosenberg that said, it ain't gonna look like how that look on pay-per-view. When niggas start saying that shit right there, skirt! It ain't gonna look like how it look like, how it gonna look like, look like. You look light for the fright. You Jim Lampley, you just to look right for the look right. That means the other nigga probably got that shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Av versus Don Marino. I mean, who would I, I have to pick Av in regards to that? I fucking have to. I, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go into a battle saying Don Marino's gonna beat Av? You're gonna be like, what the fuck are you smoking and when did you start? I gotta have winning 2 1. I gotta have winning 3 0, honestly. But Don could probably steal around and shit. Don probably think I hate him too, but I really don't. But if he was me, he would pick Av to beat me too. I gotta have 2 1. I gotta have clean 2 1. Uh, Units versus Franchise. Uh, franchise just been bouncing back. I haven't seen Franchise in a, in a minute. I haven't seen a lot of his battles and shit, so that's on the table. Units been nice. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of his shit either. Stuck with that. I ain't got to have no more. It is what it is. Well, I see when, when I need to see something, I will, but it don't bring out enough dope shit for me to be continuing to pay. I can go get me a sandwich from Charlie's or something. So I don't have it, but I heard he been doing this thing. So uh, in that regard, 2-1 either way. Chef Trez versus Billy Boondocks. I got Chef Trez 2-1. Uh, D.I. the Handyman versus L.I. the Mayor, uh, toss up. Uh, and that's April 28th. Shout out to M3S3, you know what I'm saying? I, I hope to see both of them. I'll probably peep both of them, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some dope battlers, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, and is there any more? It's a little, like I said, these cards becoming like Uh, but yeah, um, I did see uh, Easy and Hitman, like I said earlier in the, in the blog. I seen Easy and Hitman going back and forth with the numbers. This video did this amount of views and that views and this views. I'd be good with nigga numbers for the day. Not this plus this plus that plus three plus divide and then you add it by five and nah, I'm good. I don't got. I don't know about the nigga Um But what I will say is a shout out to uh, all the MCs that make this culture and make battle rap is what it is. And shout out to everybody that watches this content, you know what I'm saying? Because without y'all, there is no us. But other than that, shout out to every single one of y'all. I'm not falling for Charlie Clips bullshit. Y'all can if you want to, but I ain't going to. You know what I'm saying? I will not. He will not fool me ever again. After that flight to LA, no way. Uh-uh, I got you, my boy. I'm out of here, boy. Yeah, I got easy 3-0. Here's why I got easy 3-0, all right? Because even if Charlie Clips does show up and does rap, right? 
it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be written <laughs> and it ain't gonna be better than the shit that easy got. It's just not going to. Like, it ain't. What has he shown us in the last three years that makes me think that? Lou Castro performance, that was dope, but how often do we get the Lou Castro performance? How often do we get that? Not enough. I'm out. <laughs>